everyone, this is Erica here and welcome to my channel. I'm here to give you a review on the new undefeated Nike Air Terra Humera collaboration. These released on February 24th at a retail price of $170 USD. This is a cargo khaki colorway. They also released in a black coconut, a light menta, and archaeo brown colorway. The Nike Air Humera was originally released in 1997 and its successor, the Terra Humera, was in 1998. This shoe was designed by Peter Fogg. Peter Fogg was considered one of the most important footwear designers. He was originally a Boeing aircraft interior designer. He had never designed a shoe, but after being diagnosed with cancer, he ended up with Nike because of his former classmate, Dave Shinone, who was Nike's design director of footwear. So when it came to the Nike Terra Humera, he was inspired by the front disc brake and wheel of a motorcycle. The name is drawn from Mexico's Terra Humara, a Native American people who inhabit the Sierra Madre Occidental who are known for the long distance marathoners. These were made to be running shoes for different terrains like dirt, roots, leaves, and hard rocks. The shoe was also featured in Vogue and made an impact in the shoe realm and the fashion industry. In 2017, Supreme did a collab with the Nike Air Humera, but now in 2024, Undefeated has one with the Nike Air Terra Humera. The difference between the two is the Nike Terra Humera is way more durable than the Nike Air Humera. You could tell by the mud guard on the back and also on the grip at the bottom, there is a major difference, but there wouldn't be a Terra Humera without the Nike Air Humera. So now for a detailed look on the shoe. On the mud guard, we have this rubber material with spikes for different trails. The toe box has a durable canvas and some suede. It has a 3M reflection on the tongue. It has 3M with an undefeated branding. On the eyelet, we have 3M panels and more suede. We have the Nike sign with the undefeated tag branding. The back heel has more of this rubber material with Nike and undefeated branding. The midsole has paint splatter and air bubble holes that make them more comfortable and add support. Then on the insole, we have this cool design. You can tell it's custom and it has different shoe prints. Now for a detailed look at the box, we have the undefeated logo right here with some shoe prints. Here on the side, we have splattered paint with the Nike Air logo. And then on the bottom, it has Play Dirty for undefeated. And when we open it up, again, Play Dirty. Undefeated logo with more shoe prints and more shoe prints. So as far as sizing, I went true to size. I'm a nine and a half. They fit just perfectly. But I would suggest if you're more on the wide foot side, I would probably go up half a size because they do fit pretty well. I wouldn't say too tight, but they're snug. They're just right. But like I said, if you are more on the wide foot side, I probably would go up half a size just to make sure, you know, they're not too tight. So they do come with this dark gray default lace. But they also come with the extra pair of laces, a dark camo green with some paint splatter. I'll probably swap these out. It just goes with the paint splatter on the bottom. So at the bottom of the shoe, we have paint splatter with the bright orange, a lot of uh, tread, a lot of grip. So these are just right for um, running and for trails. So now for our on foot look.
that being said, is this a cop or a pass? Or are you interested in one of the other colorways? Please let me know in the comment section below. And if you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Thanks for watching and enjoy.